Hi, come skills. I am going to be explaining catch and release and why fishermen should practice it. Now, before we can talk about catch and release, we first have to understand the fish cycle. And this information comes from a YouTube channel called Fish Hole Lover. Now, fish, they have six stages of life. First, the female lays the eggs, and then the male fertilizes the eggs, which that, that stage from eggs moves on to embryos. And then from embryos moves on to larvae. And larvae are these little fishes that you, you, that you see that are maybe swimming by uh, the shore. And then from juveniles, they move on, wait, from, from larvae, move on to juvenile. And juvenile is where this, the stage, they, uh, they start to actually have the features of the fish that they are, that the species that they are. And from juvenile, moving on to adult stage, and this is where, um, where fishermen go after the fish of the species. This is also the stage of where the species of the fish start to actually reproduce. So actually, it's five stages of life. But in reality, once the fish gets old, it moves on to this sixth stage of where it actually stops reproducing and it eventually dies out or it gets captured or gets eaten. Now that we have a better understanding of the fish cycle, now I'm going to be talking about a catch and release. Now this information comes from nps.gov and it states by releasing the fish, it helps the fish population and the ecosystem. Now that means by releasing the fish, it allows the fish to reproduce and reproducing the fish allows more fishes which helps the ecosystem. So now we, now we know the fish cycle and we, why we release the fish. Now I'm going to be talking about handling the fish after it is caught. Most commonly, fish are handled wrongly or in a wrong manner of where the fish will be really stressed to the point where it just dies off after being Hatched. And in order to prevent from the fish from dying and from dying from releasing the fish, we have to practice actually handling the fish properly and respectively. And now what I mean by respectively is using the correct hook size the right gear, not stressing the fish too much. And what I mean by too much is biting the fish for too long. Uh, now I understand if like you're fishing saltwater fish, you know, they, they have a lot of energy, they can last forever. But I'm talking about if you're just fishing bluegills, uh, small fish, like biting them for 10 minutes, that's a little bit ex, uh, ex, uh, that's a little bit extreme for the fish. It is recommended from Anglers uh, Unlimited, which I got the information from. It is uh, recommended that you reel in the fish quickly as possible and unhook the, and wet your hands before touching the fish in order to not remove any of the protective uh, coat that they have once it's out of the water. Uh, why I chose this topic was uh, to inform uh, others of catch and release and the importance of preserving the fish population ecosystem. Uh, you know, in regards to Father's Day, you know, uh, fishing uh, is something me and, my, me and my father do a lot together. If you're not con consuming the fish that you are fishing, uh, please release the fish in a 
properly and respected the way a rhythm fish can actually um, live its life out until you know vision gets caught again and consumed or gets consumed by another fish or if it just dies out because of old age thank you